if you stick with the uh, real estate companies that have the, the talented management teams and they tend to be developing properties in those markets that have high barriers to entry, then there's a lot of wealth that ends up being created. The, the tougher it is to get development entitlements and approvals to build something, say in New York City, uh, the more value you create when you actually are able to uh, get those entitlements. So that the process for uh, developing properties in markets like New York, Washington DC, Boston, Toronto um, is tough, but those savvy real estate development teams that know how to go through the process uh, end up creating a tremendous amount of value long term. Uh, adding that with their ability to finance properties, uh, using public-private partnerships, as is often done with uh, one of our largest holdings here, Forest City Enterprises, right here in New York. Um, and, and you know, real estate is not—they're not making any more land. And in those areas where you're land constrained, uh, properties tend to appreciate in value much more rapidly. Uh, than they do if you're building, say, in the next cornfield in you know, somewhere in uh, in the outskirts of a of a uh, Midwest city, for example.